Number 56. Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant Kp for the reaction 2NO gas plus Cl2 gas comes to equilibrium with 2NOCl gas from these equilibrium pressures. And then they tell us that NO was 0.050 atm, Cl2 was 0.3 atm, and NOCl was 1.2 atm. You got it. So we want to find out an actual number of value for the equilibrium constant Kp. When we have a Kp value, or we're trying to solve for a Kp value with the balanced equation, we use this formula, right? We've seen this time and time again. Kp and Kc are very, very similar, right? The, gener the general thing is that it's always just the products divided by the reactants, and for each one, you have to raise them to its coefficients. And remember, only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. So the first thing is I'm just going to write out this equation much bigger so that we can work with it. So I have 2 NO gas plus Cl2 gas. This comes to equilibrium with 2 NOCl gas. That looks actually pretty centered to me. And now they did say that these were all equilibrium pressures. And remember, we're only allowed to use equilibrium values in my Kp formula. So we're ready to rock and roll. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write these out with what they told me, right? So we have NO as 0.05 atm. That's a reactant, so I'm gonna just say 0.050. Now, I don't like to really write, actually, I guess I'll write the unit, right? Since these are all equilibrium, so I have 0.05 atm, I have 0.30 atm, and then I have 1.2 atm. Now just know, if we're using Kp values, the only unit that is allowed is atm. Since we have atm here and not tor or millimeters of mercury or any other unit for pressure, I can use these values and plug it into the formula. So since I have the equilibrium values, Maybe I'll just write that here. And only equilibrium values are used in Kp. I can just go right to writing out my formula and then just plug it in the numbers. So let's see, products over reactants. They're all gases, so all of these are going to be included. Products divided by reactants. We got the pressure of NOCl and we got to raise it to its coefficient. There was a 2 here, so I have to take this, whatever the pressure was, and raise it to the second, or square it. Coming down to my reactants, right, I have, actually I'll say pressure of NO. That had a 2, so I have to square this. And then remember, it's multiplied um, in your Kp formula, when you have multiple reactants or products, it's not added like it is in the balanced equation. So this would just be multiplied by the pressure of Cl2. There's a one coefficient here, which just means that you have one, right? So technically I don't have to really raise this to the first because raising it to the first is the same thing. All right, so let's give it a go. Ooh, there we go. So let's see, we got 1.2. Now I really don't like putting in my units. I know that I have the right units, so I just like to put in my numbers. And then I got 0 0.050, and that's squared, times by, maybe I'll put a parenthesis over here, uh, 0 0.30. Okay, close it up. Maybe I'll just scooch this over a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, one number for the top, one number for the bottom. And then we just divide it out. So let's see, what do we get? 1.2 squared. I get 1.44. Beautiful. 1.05 squared times 0.3 is 7.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. And now we're just ready to find that value. Kp equals 
1.44 divided by the 7.5, and I got a big, 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 big number, 1,920. Do we need sig figs here? Uh, yeah, I would say so, if we're doing it, right? Two sig figs, two sig figs, two sig figs all around, so technically you should have two sig figs here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll say 1.9 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. Remember, any k value is unit less. It has no units. So we just leave it as that. And remember, a kp that is way larger than 1 means that at equilibrium, you should have mostly products. And look at these numbers. I got 1.2 versus 0 0.05 and 0 0.3. So the meaning kind of checks out. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep rocking and rolling. If you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this you know service exists. This YouTube channel just gets the word out there that you know this channel exists and we just want to help you guys, all right? So let's keep going. I will see you in the next question. Bye-bye.